The hot gas bypass system involves diverting the discharge gas from the compressor, which is at high temperature and pressure, directly to the evaporator, bypassing the other components of the basic system. This allows the temperature of the discharge gas, typically between 60 and 80 degrees Celsius, to increase the temperature of the evaporator, facilitating the quick removal of frost in this part of the system. From this point, the hot gas bypass system operates as follows. 1. In the compressor discharge line, there is a bypass that includes a solenoid valve. 2. This solenoid valve controls the flow of the discharge gas into the bypass line, which connects directly to the evaporator. 3. The solenoid valve can be controlled by a thermostat, timer, electronic controller, or other methods. 4. The main advantage of the hot gas bypass is the speed at which defrosting can be carried out. 5. Another advantage of the system is that it does not require the compressor to be turned off during the defrosting process. 6. The hot gas leaving the evaporator continues its journey through a pipeline until it reaches the compressor. 7. The first hot refrigerant arriving at the evaporator encounters a very low temperature part of the system, which can cause the refrigerant to undergo a rapid phase, change from superheated vapor to saturated liquid. 8. To prevent this violently generated liquid from reaching the compressor directly, it is recommended to install a liquid accumulator in the suction line to act as a barrier for the liquid refrigerant. 9. To improve the system's operation, it is necessary to install a KVL type valve before the compressor to prevent excessively high pressures from reaching the compressor suction. 10. Additionally, a control valve can be placed in the hot gas bypass to regulate the excessive supply of hot gas to the evaporator and prevent flooding. 11. Although the system we are presenting is basic and lacks some necessary accessories, it helps understand its operation. 12. When the solenoid valve is activated by the thermostat or programming, the defrosting process begins with the bypass gas, without the need to stop the compressor. 13. This method is especially useful in high-capacity systems, where stopping the compressor is impractical. Additionally, by using the appropriate accessories, the frost removal process in the evaporator is optimized, extending the compressor's lifespan.